It turns out if you're going to claim something is satire, it needs to actually be satire. Yuga Labs, the organization that owns the Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs, won a lawsuit this week against Ryder Rips and Poly OX over their knockoff Board Ape collection, resulting in a judgment where they will have to pay around $1.5 million in damages. The RR slash BAYC collection was ruled to essentially be an unlicensed dupe, and after looking for obvious differences, I couldn't tell at all. I believe that the quote is steal like an artist, not steal like an asshole. Polly and Ryder Rip's defenses in court were that they created the RR collection in satirization of the Bored Apes, which they claimed had racist imagery. So to fight racism, they made a basically identical collection for profit. Here's a tip from a professional sasshole. Throw in some actual satire next time. Some sarcasm, make it obvious there's a joke, let your Botox wear off enough to be able to make a face that indicates you're not fucking serious. We are all making sacrifices for art here, so get in line. I know it's hard to tell what's satire nowadays when the world is a complete circus, especially when the actual news looks like satire and the satire news looks like the truth, because it is. But taking advantage of people not being able to tell the difference for profit and calling it satire after the fact ain't it. But don't worry, the internet is undefeated in always getting the last word, and Ryder is no exception, as the internet has now satirically renamed him from Ryder Rips to Ryder R.I.P. And Polly's real name is Jeremy, so go ahead and do whatever you're going to do in the comments with that. I'm Tupac's of course, like and repost if you enjoyed this quick and useless crypto news.